you have the sheep eyeball here. So we're going to look like first the standard structure that you can see the sheep eyeball. So in the white part here, I have the sclera. It progresses all the way to the back, but it's wrapped by muscles here, extrinsic eye muscles, but the white part known as sclera. This part here that is semi-transparent, it should be transparent, but the formaldehyde changes its color, that's the cornea, the cornea. So sclera in white, the cornea semi-transparent. In the back of the eye, we have a little nub here, that's the optic nerve. All right, we're going to cut through this eye now to see the internal structures. So, I'm going to cut a lid here, all the way through. The eye, and I'll show you the internal part of the eye, which is very, 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 very interesting. So, if you remove some of the fluid that is in there, you start seeing the internal structures. Now, the level of detail on the video may not be that good, but you see that there will be like a fringed structure here. These fringe structures with like finger-like filaments here, it's the ciliary body, it's the outer circle. The inner circle with the, which the fringes are much thinner and finer, these guys are the iris. So two circles, the outer one, the ciliary body, which is a group of muscles that hold the lens together, and the iris here that can dilate um, and, or constrict, increasing the, the, the hole here, the name of this hole that you can see, the white part here, the name of the hole is the pupil. So the pupil varies in size depending on the progression of the iris. You, of course, the hole here, you can reverse it, is pointing to the cornea. We just look in this side, and then you can see the cornea on this side coming through the hole. Alright, so now we move to this part here, and the first thing you notice is that there's a gel-like structure here. This gel here is the vitreous humor. This island in the middle of the gel that I just took off, that's the lens. The lens is held together by the ciliary body, so it should go in the front here. Now, it's hard to see, but if you see in the back there of the, the humor, there's a skin-like structure that is starting to get folded. So, it's like white skin color. So I'm going to dump the vitreous humor, which is this gel here on the tray. And I tell my student that it looks like a little breast implant, and it does look like a And here, you can see the retina, that it's easily detached from the back of the eye. Now, the retina is maintained stretched there by the vitreous humor. As soon as I remove that, you start seeing those wrinkles being formed, because the retina is gone. I remove that part, and you have to be gentle so you don't remove the entire uh, inner layer of the eye. And then I'm going to go back to it here. And now the retina is removed. The dark part that you have in the back is called the choroid. Choroid. And then the skin that is highly folded here is the retina. The structure that is in, in iridescent metallic with hues of blue here is the tapidolucidum. It's a structure that is exclusive of... Uh, uh, nocturnal mammals and the animals that can see in the dark and not present in humans. So the retina is held together at one point of insertion there, I put more of the liquid, and that point of insertion there it's the optic disc. It's where the retina inserts and passes to, through the choroid and gets on the outer edge where the optic nerve will be located. So a quick review, cornea, sclera, Move inside, two circles, ciliary body, iris, and the hole here, which is the pupil. Then the vitreous humor is removed, the retina skin color, and the choroid in black in the back. That's it.